से डरोगे तो कुछ बड़ा कैसे करोगे तो ड्यू उठा और हिम्मत का घूंट लगा एयरक्राफ्ट टू इनकमिंग वी एफ इट इन एयर पॉकेट माउंटेन ड्यू डर के आगे जीत है Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another day, gaming day at Score Gaming Club, presented by none other than the Intel beverage partner. You can see it in the background. That's Mountain Dew, and network partner is going to be TP Link with an amazing network. While the accessory accessory partner is going to be Belkin, cyber security partner Casper Sky. Today's event is going to be another BO3 finals event which we're going to witness and the prize pool is going to come right up which is going to be explained by none other than the most amazing Edge. How are you doing Edge? I'm doing it. I don't know about being the most amazing one but anyway the prize pool is amazing itself. It is 10,000 rupees. The first place winner taking away 5,000 of it. Massive chunk. And then the second place, at least, I mean, one, once again, both these teams have confirmed 3,000 rupees for themselves. And the third place, well, they'll be taking away 1,500 and the MVP, well, he's going to be going away with 500 all to himself. But with this, I mean, you kind of have to be good on three maps at least because it is a best of three. It can go the distance. So let's take a quick look at the map video now coming in. I am guessing an ascent is going to be in the picture because once again, that is one of the most played maps, if not the most played. So I guess we will be starting off with ascent, but let's see what, yeah, there you go. I mean, we had to start off with ascent and then we're moving on to the map of bind. Once again, my personal favorite. And then if it goes a distance, the decider is going to be on Haven, but we'll be starting off on ascent. What are your thoughts on that? Hmm. One of the most oldest maps. We've seen teams being extremely defensive. Even though I, I really highly feel that it is one of the most defensive map in the entire map pool. Uh, but even after that, we sometimes see teams who are basically playing on attack are the ones who have the round lead. And then they might even not end up winning because the other team might have just a better attack. So it, it totally depends on the entire situation, how teams decide to actually play. Because we do have a set comp for Ascent. We've got the Sova, KO and Omen. These three are basically like must pick. And for the Sentinel, you can either switch between a Cypher and a Killjoy. And um, for the Duelist, you can switch between a Raze and a Jet in which we mostly see Jet and a Killjoy. But... Nonetheless, we are going to have to wait to see what are the unique compositions that we might possibly see from these teams. And after that, we're going to have the bind. So these two maps are definitely love to see a Viper Harbor comp. I, I personally love that. And it is a pretty solid comp with the wall combination and the timings that you can play around with. Plus, uh, you've got the smoke of Viper. You've got the smoke of Harbor as well. 
harbor smoke is basically used for planting or diffusing the spike because it also provides the cover to the from the fire power so a, a pretty solid comp um but again I, I just as you said it is possible that we might go the distance as well so we might possibly see haven where we have the three attacking sites and it becomes pretty difficult for the defenders to actually take hold of all three of them so maybe, know, maybe. I, yeah mm -hmm. i mean as you were saying I mean, we have uh, you know we have seen teams that have some unbeatable compositions but once again you kind of have to understand that their caliber is different to the calibers of these players. So, I mean... What? But at the same time, you might see something like, oh my god, that's good. So, it can go, it can go both ways, and that is what I expect. But once again, we are starting off on Ascent. We have the agent selection on our screens. We see a Sky. We see a Rain, a Cypher, Sova, and a Brim. But the first things first, the first thing that gets into my head after looking at this composition of the defenders is that they don't have a player that can actually wield the operator. Now, that is an issue for me. Mm. That is true. You basically hit the mark with that, but we'll just have to wait it out and see how they're actually going to put the operator in whose hands. That's going to be the question. I, I believe for Sentokis, maybe they might actually decide and put the op in... The hands of the one who will be anchoring the site along with Cypher, but let's see, it is going to be Team IG staking on Team Sentokis. And just as you all might have guessed, on the defense, we've got, we've got Sentokis, while on the offense, we'll be having Team IG. We're going to jump into the game, we're going to jump into the match, it's the first by phase coming right up. And again, uh, looking at the defensive setup that they have, they're actually going with and even the offensive setup as of now i can see it's um possible that they might want to make some noise towards the a side and then end up towards the b okay they're, they're, they're basically all deciding to just go in towards the b and uh, the, the stacking is pretty good because on the b side i can see that the difference is pretty weak very weak one core setup on by, by the side of Sentukis. out of charges they can get slow Reyna, the only player he can on as they try to get into the side of the switch, will be first by Jet. And once again, Reyna will be able to get one, this misses, but he's not in a good position. Jet is missing a lot of shots behind him, but at the end, will master take him down to 4v4. Reyna no, is not dropped one, he gets planted. dropped by Shunei, and now it's a 3 versus three. The Vitek is looking really good as he's dropped another one onto the side with the ghost. That's Last to player take standing. One going down and one enemy remaining. It's a 1v1 oh, now, and it's gonna get taken down. The Rez tracks. What just happened? It was trades left and right. Trade after trade after trade, but at the end, it was the defenders who came out on top of the first round. This round went so freaking fast. I mean, like, I I'm still surprised how Reyna was actually able to hold the side and at least pick one off and buy enough time for it into just moving for, for that rotation. That too from both the market as well as the main. So, I, I believe that was a pretty good play and that's the strength of Reyna, you know. If you're good at Reyna, you're excellent at that. You can just pick the enemy off, you can use the dismiss. Though he was caught up in that crossfire, um, but even after that, he, he did everything that he could. And yes, it's just as you mentioned, it went down for the last 1v1, which was definitely won by the Sova. Playing pretty decent, and now we're gonna see a slow round coming in with the first pick. Like, Jitta, that was actually a nasty shot. And now he's put the, his, his own team in advantage. Cage three. Positions are going to be revealed. So this guy going to take Sky out of the picture. With that judge is not going to be able to survive with that long range play from now. Spike and down, And going B. back and forth yet again. So we're still trying to One start and remains. with a picture in hand. Close range, up close and personal takes him out. As the HP back. And now it's just a 2v1. Just has to do everything. We had the best chance. Had he hit that headshot, but why it, it seems problematic for him now. Spike is nowhere near him, and he's got to go through this crossfire setup of the market as well as the stairs. 
first one, I'm not really sure, but the second one is pretty easy as he was stuck in the tip by the tank. It's beautiful coming in, Sine. Last player Just standing. Nice to get the kill. Spike Actually managed to get a double. And now the drone two squad side oh. is on. Then he's getting it. What? Oh. Can he get it? He's got the blade. He gets himself a turn. Can he get the quad? He actually got the quad as well. He's going for the ace and he misses it. Then keeping his calm, keeping his nerves, and clutching it for the team, making it 3 to 3. How did he manage to get that cypher? That's going to be my question. I never thought he would be able to take down Shine, but after that, it, it was so very amazing. Reyna just dropped in front of him, he finished Reyna off, and then he got the blade storm online. What a quick play coming in from this guy, and the way he just kept his calm, almost pulling it off. But nonetheless, it was a very good round coming in for, from their side. It's still a three for three. We're gonna have a tech for Zadar. Need a drop. It's possible Thanks. there might be some network connection. As soon as we've got more information, people, we're gonna be letting you know about that as well. But um, you know, he, he, it should not have been brought to down to that one v one when that happened. But something that I really love was the molly that uh, Brimstone used inside his own smoke at the entrance of A just to delay everyone else apart from Jet. So, so Jet was just isolated on the side while everyone else was just finished off at that choke point. So that that was actually a very good play, Edge. That is, that is indeed a good play there coming in. Almost pulled it off the jet as well. Right now we have a pause. Not really sure if it's a technical or a technical. Looks like a technical pause. But we are. I mean, this does give enough time for the teams to actually talk about, you know, what's going wrong for the side of defenders or attackers, and at the, at the same time, you know, think of some counters that they can possibly execute in this particular round. As the defenders, they have a lot of ultimates this time around to go for the reach. They do have the Seekers, Neural Theft, Hunters 3, and the Operative Strike as well. That's pretty much four very good ultimates against, uh, you know, two ultimates on the side of attackers. They do have the Cosmic Divide and the uh, Throw the Force from the Chamber. But once again, that, uh, um, after the nerves, after the first nerf and the second buff, I still feel, I mean, once again, it is back to being usable. But I still, I still don't think it is as uh, you know viable as it was at the start. So that is still an issue for me. But Chamber, it's good to see that he's back into the meta, bringing in by you know some of the pro players as well. We have seen a lot of. Um, he's pretty much played in every rank, you know, like starting from Iron till Radiant. You you see a lot of Chambers now. Although yes, I don't I think I know do. any Iron friends. I don't have any Iron friends. Yeah. Don't don't worry. I'll be your Iron friend. <laughs> Okay, but, but yes, yeah, you're correct about that. Uh, it is being played a lot now. Finally, when he received the much-needed buffs, he was, he was straight up broken when he was released. But after those nerfs, it, it, it was like, you know, you're, you're sitting on that third floor and then you're directly dropped down to basement, wherein you're not at all usable. So that's what Chamber actually went through. But it's, it's good seeing our boy back in action. But I, I want to talk about this composition that... Um, IGs have actually brought uh, that to an ascent. They've got the chamber for their sentinel. Uh, they also have the Astra. So, I mean, yes, uh, wherein as for Omen, we do see the smokes coming in. Astra can do kind of the exact same thing. Can place those stars and then turn them in, up into a smoke. And also that gravity wheel would be pretty useful along with the cosmic divide, which is now available. This is here. So I, I want to see how they actually want to use that because um, that of course, there. it's going to be pretty important in delaying that post plant and giving your team a, a much better position as soon as you go in for that plant. But it's again for ultimates for the retail. Chine is just watching out the area. How do you give him the information? Quickly jump away, touch! Oh, close and jet with that tool somehow! He actually managed to win that, but he got the control of the side defense. Both of the people of Assassin was good for one, could not get the second. And now that's going to be the Hunters who use a try and deny the plant, but the spike has been planted. He would not be able to get them out. Just clearing up those close angles. Then quickly being traded, locks with that nasty lurking. Well, this was the orbital strike has been. I believe it was used up as well, and he was caught in the gravity well. One of the easiest kill for Prana ever. That's gonna be yet another round for IG. 
three to four. They are on a roll now. You know, slowly but steadily getting that momentum. And also the economy on the side of defenders is completely broken now. They cannot afford to go and invest into this particular round. But the sad part is they kind of used three ultimates in that particular round and still managed to lose it out somehow. That is not a good thing, especially if you are on the defensive half. All right, now let's see. Maybe once again, you know, we've seen a lot of thrifties. This could be one of them. The timing from Black Ops is just so sad as they sneak in right in front of him towards the start area. The flash is perfect. Rich time. He is nevertheless gonna find the thing on the jet, but not enough. Just one to play on the side. He's gonna get jet. He knocked off plus he got the double. He did get himself a double in the meanwhile. Renee gets taken. Gets one more kill. Oh, he's out of bullets. Oh, Zen, he had the crosshair right on the sky. Zen, Spike planted. But he had no ammo. Yeah, they One enemy remaining. <laughs> Cannot kill that guy in the long range. Down to a 1v1. Flashing in the hands of Assassin. Right in the hands of Jet. That's the advantage of a better gun, and he will win it out. But that did became so close such a close round coming in that one a thrifty wherein they had no investment apart from a frenzy a sheriff and a bucky that's that's so very well played and again i was so unfortunate for sky he had the cross it you mentioned it correctly Here. it was right on the head it was flashed as Here. well but he had absolutely no bullets to actually pull that shot off and he was straight right away and it, it feels so bad to actually was that it could have been like three Ks for him, and that two and all three share effect shots. More or less like playing with the hard bots. Okay. Yeah. Next round, this should be the key. They, they need to win this one. Turn it around. So that the code out. We can use the hand pass. That's a good volley, but he will be taken down right away. Spike Mark down. Two is for the side of IG. Assassin, assassinated from behind. Shine needs to hold. Oh, gun gravity well used up. That was such a good combination. Kill over the wall bang headshot. Now it's all on to Shine. 1v3. How will he manage to win this? I think. It's got the neural theft. Yes, the information. There's no follow up. He gets information. Does man to get the thing though to the wall bang? Also, that's why it's close. He gets that spam. Scotty. He can spam again and maybe get the kill on the jet as well. Both of them are very low. Maybe like one bullet each. But now Cypher. Running out of patience. Running out of time as well as Shanae. 20 seconds. One enemy remaining. Get the defuse as well. Now one more what? kill. He needs to find it. He did. He does spot it said. But it's a little too late to react. But kill Lua is there. He will get that kill. And that's going to be the sixth round. Every round, it feels like the defenders are on the verge of getting it, but then the attackers snatch it back into their favor. And just look at the score of all the kills. I mean, it's it's just Kiro who's literally sitting on 18, and they've got all five ultimates ready for this round. If in case they do not get this one as well as the next one, I'm going to be so disappointed. They've got every ultimate that they need and they've had this cosmic divide up for maybe what three months now three or four i've got your trial i'm still waiting for them to actually go in for it seekers have been used to assassin again i'm getting so spike down not like he'd be able to do anything hunter's fury i up create some space and on the side the spike has not crossed i have the spike the spike is tight. Just swag. Him to actually pick the spike, Shane. Gonna be picked off in the mid. No, still going in for that lurk player. Now they do not have the control of the site. Down to a 2v2. One enemy remaining. Yeah, that's the spray spike from the down, guardian. Mid. Black. The, the much needed headshot for his team. And now it is down to a 2v1. The body situation. But the idea smokes down. Spray almost good enough. 1 HP on black, 40 on Zen. Jeez, this you is want to fight so it. much doable for Astra and finally goes in for the cosmic divide as well. Just spike so planted. Heavy. All right. Smoke down. 
Okay, well, they're gonna break the doors. Smokes are down as well. Gonna cover the angle, but I don't think so they would do it because it's causing the white, but. Remaining. Oh wow! Wow! The stars have just aligned for him, and so did the players. That was once again. I don't want to say it's completely lucky, but you know there was a tad bit of luck involved. Get that headshot again. Doesn't really matter. Once again, he was on one HP. Even a body shot, even a leg shot, even a wall bang leg shot. Would have done it, but Here. wow, what is that trap coming in from Cypher? He actually wants to stop the up trap, but Jet goes higher than that, my friend. But anyway, that's seventh round on the board now. They lose our 2v1. It just feels like the attackers they have a knack to win. Absolutely, this Brim Smoke is down as well. They all want to clear all those those angles. They finally decided to force stack towards the B side. But again, this can very well be a fake. They've got an idea that there are at least three people on the site, and now they're looking to jump in towards the. You can see Astro creeping up from the main. Might possibly see the first contact. Zen has the judge. Won't be able to win that long range battle. Still, Astro, he finds it, but he does not get the shot. Nox will get that trade and will get the side control as well. But the rotation is just as quick. It might actually be a double fake. Oh, goodness, the mind game. <laughs> Assassin finishes him off, but now the progress has been made towards the other side. That's that's what a way to call out that rotation and what a way to take control of the site. My God, and Kilua just adding salt to the wound, finishing him off near the CT. They've got the spike planted, they've got the post plant position. I'm only seeing an Empress by Assassin. He needs to get that pick. Nope. Won't be able to do so. Still has got a dismiss and a heal, but again he needs to. Win this one one enemy boot. remaining. He's taking both of them not the angle, and Kilua will finish both of them off. Last round in the half. I just feel like that as soon as it's down to the last one v two or, or a two v two, one v one, three v two, somehow in some way. You know they get pressured. Centopies they they get pressured, and and under pressure they yeah. kind of miss those normal obvious moves. Keep up. This game. It you want to play? Off, let's you know, play. Looking like it could go either way. <laughs> Now feeling like the attackers have the upper hand, but also at the same time it feels like not all of them are, are you know. Uh. Have a clear advantage over the other, but they're just trying. Especially with Jed, he's just talking. This is a bad on the defensive half. Defensive side, I'm sorry. Like everyone has their timing right, especially this Jed with the position and uh, the wall buying. It's Kawad as well coming in. 93 the score line, but as Switching I was talking, a couple of players on the side of defenders, couple of players on the side of attackers. Have their timings. After uh, yeah, as soon as they hit their timings, as soon as they hit their positionings as well, this is nothing that you can do to actually get that round back in your favor. Once they are in the position before you, or once if they get the momentum before you, it's done. And the defenders, that's what happened up until now. But now the side switch comes in, and now let's see how. Again here, I I think. The Saiyis who would be having the upper hand because that sent is a defense-sided map and they've got a lot of utilities to actually deal with the push. They've got lots of utilities for the retake. It's it's just so it's it's looking so very hard and hard for uh -huh. the side of Sentokis. But again, we we'll just have to see. They're gonna focus on the orb and the B main first. Astra using that star for a smoke. Delaying the push, but I don't think so. They had any intention of actually going in towards the B either ways. They're creeping up towards the A side. Pena gets that pick, then taken out. Instead of headshot, nasty bot in the mid. I I really feel like he should have just backed off in that situation because now their team is in a disadvantage and the rotation has been called towards the A. 
I guess the read is perfect. They are actually going in for the execute from the tree as well as the main. That's a good split. They should have the control of the side, but it is stacked up. It's gonna come down to those duels. Kilua winning yet again. Shinee's timing could be detrimental in this one. He manages to get the jet. Ashura Thama takes back standing. OP. He manages to get one with that clock. Kilua still standing, still fragging. And it's the chamber though who actually gets a 3k in this round with a wall bank finish, but they will get the diffuse in the pistol as well as the 10 on board. Double digit for IGs. If you are not doing well, keep trying. You must keep up appearance. Really quick when your when your opponents are at three. That has to be a lot of momentum. But what do you think the uh, attacker should do right now to change things up? Just knowing the mechanics and the physics of the map, it seems nigh impossible for them. But either way, um, if there's something that they need to do is, firstly, they, they totally have to decide if they want to go in for that save. They are actually going in for the save, investing just a sheriff. So they're basically hanging over the 11th round. That was a very good flash coming in and trying to evade that 2KO. Should get the third as well. It's just a classic. If he plays on a long range, one enemy right remaining. Woo. To win that one, he wins it. And that's gonna be a flawless round. So this is what they should not do. The Sentoki. But once I have a question, uh, they've got to use every tool right in there. their arsenal. They've got to go in for some early quick hits. Win. They want to make sure that I should probably um, play some stars IGs, they in the actually plane. choose up their first batch of utilities, like gravity wall, the smokes of Astra. So they have to show some early presence towards uh, the main, and they need to have that mid control. They need to have market control or the cat control. If in case they do not have that, they would not be able to threaten any kind of split push. And if they do don't do that, then they will be caught in the crossfire at the choke point because look at the defensive setup that's coming in from their side. They've, they've got two people invested almost at every single place, one person in the mid market. So we're gonna have yet another tech force coming in, hardware issue. We'll be quickly fixing that, and the match is gonna be started very soon. But again, this gives us enough time to actually talk about the tools in their arsenal. That's one thing that I mentioned. Uh, they need to have that mid control, they need to have market artery control. Having that control is everything in this game. You, you, I mean, once again, this game is purely based on confidence. You, even if you don't have a lot of, you, you know, even if you don't have a great aim or an insane aim, you can still win rounds just by placing yourself or just by being confident enough to peak. That, those are some things that people need to understand. You don't always... I mean, once again, you need to have aim. It's not like you are going to be aiming at the feet and going in. You need to have decent aim. But once again, you can still beat someone who has a... You know, who's superior to you in an MDO, but still come out on top just by positioning yourself and just being confident. So right now, the attackers, I feel like the mental capacity has been, you know, affected. It kind of has to be built up uh, again. Because once again, this is the best of three. It's okay if you lose the first map. You still have two more. You still have one more at least to fight and take that as a best of one and win that one and take it to the distance. This is not done yet. We've seen 311. We've seen Fnatic come back from this goal line. And by the looks of it, yeah. there are a couple of players that are playing really well on the side of attackers right now. Absolutely correct. Concealment. That, that was in the Sao Paulo Grand Finals. That... I can never forget that comeback. One of the best matches I've ever seen. But for now, we're gonna witness what's happening on the screen. And I believe this time they're gonna all stack towards the main. And look at the amount of information that Zen is giving to his Locking own team. Vision. He's got the control of the entire e main. And if there's any kind of push, you would know they are already ready for it. The spam is the assassin gets the first pick. Could not this is on time though. Sebastian, we quickly get that my wire. Use the trap fire, which as quickly destroyed, waiting for the spy cam as well. Now it's basically like the defense hold that they were actually doing. So they've got to stop this retake. Wow, oh, my eyes are down. I have an idea. Sky's Trailblazer. There's not really much of it. Luther's gonna be traded with the Yes. Uh, all stuck behind the side now. Have to be careful that he also got Gets a kill now, so nobody's still alive. And as long as he's surviving, there is the hope. 
Last player standing. Him, but then you have the final blow, and I do not mm. think there's enough time. Oh, I, not, I, saw an up I do is. not think there's enough time, but I think there is. There no, is. Yeah, there is. There is. He, there is. he would be able to do this. Don't even and a half stop that shit. That's. That retake, the patience. Match That's, point. It was just about the patience, getting those shots baited out, and then trying to slowly figure out a way, going in from both the areas, splitting it up. That was a very smart and very swift retake, is what I would like to say. Even though the execute was amazing, there's just the map playing games at this point. So it's the map point coming in, 12 to 3. It seems almost impossible now, but still, they do have a chance. And they've got other two maps as well. It's gonna be a full battle then, bro. Provide a lot of information for the first two I know exactly. In yeah. The hero's rifle. The hero's rifle is being used the so they're gonna have the idea the two are coming in from the heaven and one from mid. They should be able to get this hold in. Also have the weapon bridge. Spike planted. Oh, that trip. Oh, that trip was perfect. Chamber did not see that one coming whatsoever. I've and now got your gone for the attackers. Looks like it. it's a two for one. No way they should be able to lose this one. Not last might be able to get standing. one more. Restracts. In the meanwhile, this man's to get the kill on the busty bot, but that was a trade now. 1v4 sky is really low. I just thought he's being followed by the trailblazer. And now he wants to go for the kill, but I believe busty bot nice. should be the one coming out on top. Actually, it's Restracts. No, he's gonna get the hit down at the, at the recon out, I guess. But Shunei. He's gonna be the one dropping and finally Don't worry, a wrong don't think it's eh? After a while, that's been a really long time And that's the first round they've got in their attack I got enough time to go into the Astro Fall But again They've at least That'll stopped work. the momentum, they've broken that momentum and now they've got enough crits to actually go for the buy Because they kind of went in for a semi-save, semi-buy round in the previous one They should have enough crits such a great skin. I like the blue variant though, but this is a very good skin. Either way, Nox gonna hold the angle for the B main. But it does not seem that, you know, Sentokis are actually interested in doing that. They've got the entire control. So one of the players sure that they go and push the main. All three seekers along with the flash. It's got an idea. All of them do. Oh, what? How do you manage to do that? At this point, this guy with the aim is just absolutely nasty. Last player standing. Still get some damage though, but Ooh, down to a one, it leads to... Camera is good for one though. This track finishes him off. So, again, they played it safe. They knew that, you know, they, uh, Team IGs will be making a play. They would be ones who would be pushing forward because they're basically on the save round. So they played it very safe. They played it behind and they so easily dead. able to get that punish in. It almost got close to a 1v2, but it was very much safe for their side. One more round. They're taking it one round at a time. Okay. Can I pull it back? How close? I feel like maybe a couple more rounds, but I don't think it can actually go the distance. Maybe anyway. it can. Really? Seven okay. rounds? Bit of a stretch. It definitely it is, but again, I, I really like the brim smoke coming in. I had an idea that the force might be posted up. Let's cut. Oh, tries to go in for a random blind shot in the smoke. Did not get it. Out of charges. They so found my trap. He's drawing the attention now. He's up close. Trailblazer. Oh. And he should be able to. He checked up, yep. Look at now. The report is giving a lot of problems, but the jet knives definitely are. He gets two or three on his way. Tries to go for the third, but the swing is good. A wide one at that, and now they got the control of the site. Where is the spike? They've still not got the spike. I have the spike. Assassin. Why was he trying to break the door himself? 30 seconds but left. Alright, he'll be able to get the plant in. Just that position of health. Emperor's being used. One oh, enemy not. remaining. Good. Reveal the damage, gonna be. Oh, no! We'll get the one in the hell. And that is going to be the map for the side of IGs. Defenders win.
as I mean, we were just talking about if they could go for the clutch there, maybe go for the comeback, but uh, maybe we kind of cursed. Maybe it's the caster's curse that kind of affected that. But um, uh, yeah, either way, it is a 13 5 score. And Kilo was absolutely popping off. Shine and Wrist Tracks. I feel like we're the only ones that, was have, that were having a good day on the on their team. But look at this. Kill wall 31 to 10. That's a 3.1 kill that ratio. That is absolutely nuts with an ACS of 474. The second highest is 281. That tells you how dominant he was in this particular matchup. But that was a storyline of Ascent. We still have, you know, at least one more map. We still have Bind to witness. And after that... We may or may not be heading down to Haven. But what do you think? Bind is going to be the, uh, the the final map or do you think Haven is in the picture? Just just looking at the map picks and uh, the way the things have actually gone through, I, I feel that if in until and unless the side of IGs find an, a breakthrough to this choke and uh, entire mental fatigue they might be going through right now, I think Zubain might be the last map, but really, I want to see it go all the way. I want to see that full best of three. I want to see the team of Sentokis to make that comeback. I just have, have been dominant, and Sentokis, they, they've been very much troubled in the entire first game. They were not able to find any kind of answers. They were being shut down again and again. So, I, I really feel like that they need to find that opening any way in which they can. You know, utilize this time that they've got now in between the maps to kind of just, you know, hit that reset button, get get back to that comfort zone and then try to make those plays yet again. Because um, it's just that they had a few answers in a few of those rounds. They should have been able to kind of replicate that in the next few ones. But the adaptation that was coming in from um, Team IGs, it was really on point. So... They were not able to play it on that pace. So, Sentokis need to find their footing and then they need to make sure that IGs are playing onto their pace. That is the way that they will get the bind map in their pockets. True. That is true. Once again, uh, these, these are all just speculations. We still have to wait for the teams to come back into the server and give their mm -hmm. A game to try and, you know, make it to Haven or IG is going to take it to nil. I mean, all of that after a short break.
से डरोगे तो कुछ बड़ा कैसे करोगे तो ड्यू उठा और हिम्मत का घूंट लगा एयरक्राफ्ट टू इनकमिंग वी हैव हिट एन एयर पॉकेट
माउंटेन ड्यू डर के आगे जीत है everyone welcome back to the score gaming club you all are watching the grand finals with us we've had the game number 1 recently we're going to be jumping in game number 2 but right before that we're going to have a sponsor's name it's presented to you by none other than intel beverage partners going to be mountain dew that's a beautiful background though a networking partner is going to be tp link accessory partner belkin while the cyber security partner is going to be casper sky and again this is the budget for that highest price pool of 5000 when we are already seeing team ig is one step closer to that and in order to even that out we'll be jumping into the map number 2 that is going to be bind but before that let's have a look at the price pool yet again Yeah, it is ten thousand rupees. They said it is massive, and so is the chunk of it that the first place winners will be taking away. That's five thousand rupees, and the second place winner, well, three thousand to themselves, fifteen hundred for the third place, and the MVP looking looks like it is going to be Kilua, but let's see, is going to be taking away five hundred rupees to himself. We are done with map number one now. We are headed to my personal favorite bind. After a few, you know, few twerks, it is back into the competitive pool, and it has been an absolute banger since it's back. We've seen a lot of new agents. I mean, when I say new agents, I mean a lot of more Euro picks. We, we do usually see PR picks being the one who usually go for that Euro pick, but we do see a lot more players now opting to go for that. We see a lot of chain, but we see a lot. Of, I've seen a lot of neon as well on this particular map, so anything can happen on this one, uh, on this map. And I feel like this is the only map which is neither a defensive favorite nor an attacking favorite because of the fact that there is no mid, which might imply that it is a highly defensive favorite because you don't have to worry about mid. But once again, there are a couple of TPs, and there's that cave, those long rotations that you still need to be wary of. Absolutely. In order to compensate for that, mid they've got those TPs for those quick rotations, for those cheeky plays coming in from both of these teams. But nonetheless, again, we're gonna have to see how things are gonna roll out. And yes, even I really love bind a lot. I mean, it's it's just the way that you can play with. Plus, of course, these lineups that come in from all of these players that's gonna be pretty important as well. while looking at the situation we're not going to see any of the harbor viper composition i'd really love to see the viper but indeed she she's basically my favorite as spam viper but even after that um not at all, not at all biased <laughs> we're going to see the sky is coming in along with a brimstone and for the duelist we've got a rest track on that trace and on the um, jet so a double duelist comp coming in from their side while for the other side we're going to see sage as well as a cypher so that's a double sentinel composition hmm. that's a pretty solid um, um, more or less like a anti comp or counter comp because what's good to counter double duelist keep double sentinels two people who can hold the site i really would love to see how this turns out actually because of course we're going to see these players going no at it yeah. That's definitely the case. We're gonna have a quick tech pause though, but again, I I really love the composition being brought in from both of those people. It's it's as they've got a, some amazing utility. You're gonna have the lineup for the brimstone as well. Orbital strike is gonna be Here. extremely useful. Plus, you've got the sage who can literally block off the entrances when she'd be on the defense side and. Of course, when they'll be going in for those rotations, you can you can kind of combo it with the cypher strip fire if I'm not, and then place the sage wall into that same choke. And once the people will just try to break the sage wall, they might not anticipate the cypher traps as well. Even if they do, then they've got no choice but to either call up another long rotation or maybe just you know walk through it at the end of the day. I I never seen this but uh, it's something that I'm kind of guessing or maybe it's just my iron brain working. Yeah. Oh, you have the the trace. Like any jetty. Speak faster. Yes, one. Uh, uh, the second one might be coming in. No, it's not actually. Assassin is going to be dropping him, but immediately a man is coming out. And now stage 
wall planted. is so beneficial, especially the, on the map of firing onto a day because the wall plant, there's absolutely, you know, no way to actually deny it in a pistol round, especially. But the man did come in between the toys and the clock, but it happened. She may get himself one before going down. Did he go down? No, actually, he's one enemy remaining. He's on dead this time. Last player standing. He's down to a 1v1. Cypher was a Cypher. Uh, Cypher was a Cypher. Ooh, Cypher was a Cypher. That's a nasty headshot, that is a nasty one, but again, that's a good opening coming in from the side of IGs yet again. And that was a very good hold coming in from Bastibot. Uh, he, he just made sure to keep the control of the showers no matter what. And that, that kind of provided him a lot of information and a lot of room to work with because the opponents just had a few more places to go in. You also was the one where the main fight did happen. And that, that kind of ended up in two, uh, two for two trade, but again, we're gonna see is then this guy moving in towards the B side. He's gonna put in the trap fire. God, Chip's gonna just run away. That updraft was so amazing. He's got another trap fire set right for that place. And it's called off the rotation from the A side, but again. They're seeing IG is also quickly rotating towards the A. Both the teams, they've got such a great read, but oh, how did Lua end up in that place? Okay, he's... Look at Skyway, he's literally going all the way through CT. This can be so problematic and such a great play coming in from Sky. Assassin is gonna be shut down. There is no way he's escaping that. <laughs> Able to really uh, do anything as a matter of fact. So down to Brim, who's gonna be put to sleep as well by now. He's got kind of a part, and now it's 0 to 2. The attacker is once again with a really good start. And the defenders, this is the time. They cannot let the attackers get any more lead right off the bat. They need to put up a better performance this time around when compared to last time. The double dualist composition is it gonna be working? Let's see. All five, all five specters with a full shield now. But have to see how this kind of ends up because it's it's all rifle in the hands of Team Sentokis. That's just slow push coming in from B main. No one's watching that though. They're all playing backside and the side control has been given entirely. Spike but down, Zen coming into that second train lunch. Oh, shut is down, ready. but Shine just held that angle, held the control, and now he's got support. And they've got a very good scenario in their hand where Last it's a player four, standing. They should be able to take it. One, two, four. And that's gonna be Kilo, I just shut down. They won't allow him to take any more than that, and that is a very good round for the side. What? Four people alive, they've got the economy in their hands now, and they've got, they've broken the momentum. But this is going to be the main turning point of the match. Uh, we, we'll see where this goes to, if it's a 2 for 2 or it's going to be a 3 for 1. So, both the teams on that full buy. Hilo, are not investing anything as he's got the... Does not even have the blade storm? Okay, he's, he's gonna invest it now. Just managing the creds, I guess. Yeah, you know, making sure that they have enough for the next yeah. round. A good buy, a decent buy is obviously needed. So he wants to go into the side, he will now dash into Lamp yet again. That's get information on the jet, it's very low now actually. Now, 40 points of health on Shinai, that was a good one. being held up and the crossfire is absolutely perfect. That's gonna be another defensive oh, round. Surrounded by Minya Familia. We won't lose. Some of the dialogues are just so catchy, like you want to just say them while the Agent is saying them, but again, in my voice, it would sound horrible, so I'm just gonna shut up. Can I get a drop? It's both the teams on equal rounds now. And the buy should be broken for the side of IG, so it, it should be a 3-2 in favor of IGs, if in case they play well, but... Get 
out yeah, of my way. Almost all the classics, played Storm up. Pork out. No information given though, so this shark's gonna forward. Does he have an intuition? Wow. He does, but one tap sheriff Up's on down. the head front eh? again with that sheriff. He wants to retrieve the weapon. Unable to do it, but he does now get the vandal back into his favor. And Prepare for hellfire! Wow. The How is he alive with what? Why is he alive? That's the question. And why did he get a kill on Shine? Spike down. Why did he a. shut down? One oh, enemy man. remaining. Oh. My ult's ready. <laughs> that was a great shot coming in and now Prane is the only one surviving with 13 points of health. He does have the spike as well, so maybe the plant can come in. But that's it, I don't think the round is gonna go in his favor. There's absolutely no way he should be able to 30 this. seconds left. Unless, of course, he does get that one tap. Zen is going to get tap. Goes! He will get that tap. Took his time, though. And the spike was not planted either way, so he had all the time in the world to work with. And it's just as anticipated 3 2 in pain of. Teams in Tokyo's, but that is the thing, you know. In the previous map, as well, we saw the exact same scroll and exact same things happen in literally this way, more or less like a deja vu, just on a different map. <laughs> but they, they they need to break through. Keep this. Up. They've got the operator up as well. Zen is gonna play on B main, and that is where the push seems to be coming in. No, they they do anticipate that. They they have an idea that the operator might be posted up, so. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Already oh, he messes that one though. A three versus four now. Kilua needs to step up again to the side of attackers to have maybe have a chance of making a comeback in this one. Sky is already on to me getting information using trail weights, but does not really have an idea where the cipher could be. Does manage to get the camera. They'll take it down there. Other locations are already being called. Almost had a defender and the attackers as well. The seekers are out. We're at one of the seekers that is actually going to us. Day. The sky is kind of in a delusion that maybe someone's on to us. Day, but Zen is in a really good spot. Takes on Brain. Now in a 2v. Situation misses the first shot. They'll be switching out the blades. 3 versus 2. Spike planted. 2v2 as Kilua drops one more. Mm -hmm. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. Standing brings it down to a one. We won. Let's be on Kilua and that off angle. It's, it's, it's literally a deja vu. It's, it's a deja vu. That's exactly what happened in the previous map. And in the exact same way, Kilua clutching it up and he's doing the same right now. You ask for it and you're getting it. Three for three. Phantom in the hands. So stop it up. I should be able to shut the push down. Got your trail. I messed up. He was used up. He had absolutely no idea. But no one How pushing. How the hell is he alive? No one pushed it. Because the angle was. No angle was. It was held out. That was a great play. That was a great setup. Defensive setup coming in from the side of Santokis. Camera. Wow. It is what it is. Sage does have the resurrection available. Will he be able to resurrect Jet? I'm pretty sure that is gonna be the one. If they wanna resurrect anyone, it has to be Jet. He is a star player for their side. Parnay ah. in the meanwhile does not to take down Zen. <gasps> for the timing, the kill onto the play on towards B has yes. given away everything. But now the TPs are coming in as well as Parnay. Has to be really careful. Is he gonna be TPing back? 30 seconds left. 
Just take us towards the end. He knows there's a cam. Will be taking it down. No, he still did not take it down yet. Shine, Shine gets the kill. Busty bot is completely blinded by six. The plan, nevertheless, and now it's a two v three situation. Both the tankers have to go to the mail. But Busty bot gets. That's oh. massive. Get the first one. Oh, no, eight bullets in his chamber. Have to be really careful. Two and down. Going for the going for the one enemy actually, remaining. But he does try to isolate one of the fights. Unable to do so. He will be trying to go for the one v ones. But Rene, he cannot. God's rich back, that's 4 to 3, but that was a very weird round. It indeed was. I mean, they, they almost sold that fake towards the B side where Prana just got all the attention in the world. But it, it still did not pull everyone out. And the Sage by Shine, that was so very much needed. He needed to win that fight, and he did win it. That, that that was one of the most important fight of the entire round because that that would have been for like round breaking or back breaking fight for them. So he's still giving his team a lifeline. It's a four for three. Basti boy now this time camera set up towards the main should provide him a lot of information. The showers has been worked by Prane. What is not expected takes him down. How do you win that fight in that situation? The angle was held out for a peak as advantage, I guess. Uh, now Zen what? wants to try what? and trade somewhere else, but no. Get the ghost in hand. How do you land two headshots in a row? That two with a ghost. Teach me, Senpai. <sighs> that is just well, unfortunate. That is just pure confidence as well as we were talking about it, right? I know yeah, exactly. There's some lists that I really like coming here from the attackers. They do have two healers, right? They have Sage and they have Sky. But they're smart enough to not let, you know, Sage heal someone else. Sage is going to be the one healing Sky. In the meanwhile, Sky is going to be the one healing other. Oh, now, that is a really good combination. Shinei. Ooh, ooh. He gets almost taken down. He is the other trying to tap the lane, if I'm not wrong. Will be doing a bit of damage on the save, but that's about it. Now he's still alive and kicking with only a ghost in his hand. He has a really good position as well. But the 3v5 we take situation. Last Adam player is standing. Now gets himself a triple after the free Mavando. It's all down to Shanae. <sighs> who does manage to get a wall bank headshot on the kill a lot before going down. But it is still going to be a thrifty. It's a favor of IGS. What a round this has been. He wanna fight up against a Vandal with a ghost. Just imagine what this guy is gonna do when he actually receives the Vandal. And that's exactly what he showed, getting those three KOs and the Blade Storm also used up. Finish Shane last in that round. And again, that's now going to break the economy of the Sentokis. And IGs are the ones who've Let's got fly. an advantage. We've seen how they're doing things, but again, bind I I I personally feel like that it might actually be yeah. a little more on the defense side, wherein might have the chances of holding the site or from the attackers. Again, since there is absolutely no mid, you don't have to watch for a lot of places. So that's that's again though the personal opinion. Oh, the timing, Knox. Does he have an idea? Does he clear that? <laughs> he does. But the adjustment is not quick. Judge in the hands of Zen finishes him off in one shot. Pranado somehow trying to get the numbers equalized again makes the play in the showers to start win. And if that resurrection comes in, it's gonna you be a will not kill my crown. And it is. Make it a 4v2 this time as Kilo on the other side of the map wins that jet 1v1. One No, the first game so ready. very rough, but still Prana comes out on top and Kitane again at the last. Putting them up by one on fifth. Is this the start? Is this the beginning of the end for the side of defenders? We did see this similar kind of story like last time. Where you know they were on the lead, but as soon as they blew, they give away the lead for the first time, they never were able to catch it back. Last time it was 3-9, this time at least chaos. it's gonna be 4-8. Yeah. Maybe, once again, I mean, once again, it, it could go 7-5. Uh, there. But Risk Tracks, once again, is in a really cheeky position. Will they be checking that corner? He definitely is, but he's gonna take it down. Boombot, he's gonna distract Busty Bot enough. Flashing, going for the double, and now 
they do get information. Kone gets taken down as well. Assassin in the meanwhile, he's still surviving. Did did the seekers did hit him? But doesn't really matter. And as I said, as I said, it, it's not it may or may not be for eight. Because right now it feels like it is gonna be five to five. Highly possible. But how how in the world do you get two picks from that angle? That to when everyone checks it. One enemy remaining. Take this one. They literally said, "Chene omaiwa," and got those two back. So can put them up on the fifth. So yes, is your answer? It's gonna be a five and five. Compared to Western, mine is looking much more closer map. And this goes here. Pretty good on the defense, to be honest. Yes, this should go. They're doing a do really, uh, they're doing a decent job in the meanwhile. So it is five to five right now. They do have the economy to buy into this particular round, and I believe the yeah, next one as well. Even if they lose this attackers, so economy wise, they, they shouldn't be having a lot of problems. But Zen take him down. Yes, sir, he will. Spike down. Spike beast. play. I'm not really sure why he was a one uh, go for the fight. Uh, Zen nasty gets himself a second as well. All this is on to us. Not looking good. This is looking like. The round is done here for the side of attackers. A three v five. Yeah, the the seekers and showstopper available as well, so they can use those utilities. I don't think so. The side of IGs would want to invest the Bremalt into this one. I, I I doubt they would be even able to get the spike in first place. Because look at that. Crossfire is set up. Why did you do that? Why do Last I say that? Standing. Nox still tried to win this trade, but Zen with that third KO in the round. Oh, okay. This is just gonna take him out. Nah, that, that was a very good play. Normally, we see Cypher players just Last you know, round using before that, the switch. Uh, Nothing would be, be in the position, this. which Use actually it. gives out their own position. This time, Prane just playing it smart. But using that, gets in with the adjustment, finishes Prane off. So it's a 6 for 5. The stars are aligning for them, I guess, this time. We've got the lead for the second time in the game. And this map. This goes here. And this map. Yes. And this time this they are go. probably gonna try to not let it slip. Oh, this is a nice Six spot. to five. Final this goes here. First half. Let's see if they can actually make it 75 or is it gonna be 66 as the as the attackers are now trying their best to enter in from the shots. The cipher has a really good read on this because he is. He is on the side of the strike already going in. Cypher, no good pushing into the side of shot as well. This strike is already in. Once the gets a kill on the Shine, assassin with the trade, immediately traded up a grenade. And now the showstopper is out. Great, this does not manage to find any, but we won't have to lift onto every last player standing. He does manage to take it down, but now the blades are off on the side of Jet, and he does have an operator in his hand as well. Can he get the kill? In a 1v3, building getting one, does have the dash one enemy remaining. Really oh. getting the oh. getting over the mic, no, he cannot ask you up. He's ready for that one, and then get sick. It's down in six to six. Get out of my way. Switching sides. I don't think so. He had the idea where Kiruva was. I personally think that using that updraft, he wanted to check the angle uh, behind those boxes as well. And he also saw the second player, so he quickly went in with that to go from the second one. But that was some good information being delayed. So Kiruva just. Shutting the danger down again. What a play coming in! Zen with those insane jet updrafts and dashes. Man, hats off to these jet players. I, I played jet once, and guess what? Guess what I did? Edge. Hmm. So you're telling me that you? I don't know. Maybe you didn't pick up the operator. No, no, I, I bought Frag. <laughs> I bought Frag so very hard, and the team lost because of me, and I'm not edge deck since then. Oh no, I have to that in the long angle where Pranay's gonna get the first break, finishes Assassin, or wins that sky duel. Gets another flash, does not, no one gets blinded by that, and that's a quick trade from Zen. It's gonna be having the long to shoot 180 on Basti Ford. Basti restart down, goes to the side angle, Kilua good for one trade just as quickly. And the plant is gonna go through a 2v3, but Brim and Jet both are low. Brim is now out of the picture as a frenzy 
That's the work for Ashwatthama. One enemy remaining. So he just clears that angle. Nox gets one. Nox gets two. And they will get the defuse in. Pretty easy stuff, you know. He was kind of tagged up there. I mean, with the experience that these players have. I mean, once again, you can. I mean, we can cut some slack for you once again. You Pay just attention. I learned something. So, you know, give it, give it a month. Give it a couple of months. Need equipment. I'm pretty sure you'll top frag in one of the higher rank lobbies. I have faith in you, brother. No worries. But right now, so the sweet. attackers need to have faith in themselves as they are a round behind the IGS. And not just a round behind, a map behind. This is a do or die map Need for them. Equipment. If they lose this, Thanks. it's all over. If they win, we might get to witness Haven. I mean, if they win, we definitely will witness Haven. That is true. And I really want Black Ops to step up this time. Get to be taken down. Then though, we quickly finish. That's what I'm off. That's what I'm with. Spike planted. Time to play into the smoke. Kilo is just holding the SARS controller, waiting for the force to dissipate first, but Bastibot really getting another one of them in this time. It's playing with the brought down to a full control. Now burst to you, the angle is cleared, no. It's two for his one enemy remaining. remaining. For one, will he be able to do anything more than that? No, he has absolutely no idea. It's confusing! Uh, that's just to heartbreaking to watch. He literally had no idea that the defuse was coming up. I'm pretty sure that he kind of heard it, right? But maybe the miscommunication there, smoke might have given it away. Maybe it's confusing. But either way, it is still going to be around in the favor of IGS, and now they are a two two round lead, to them. And it is going to be a bonus coming out from them, or maybe not. As Busty Bot, he does not have any more money left. He's sitting with zero in the bank. As five specters are going to be in action for the side of defenders this time. Killua has to be really cautious. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's in a good spot. He's he's good for one at least. I think so. He's going to be checked. Oh yeah, he's going to be he's checked. Beating, uh, he's going to be checked. No, he's what? good. No! Do you manage that in that situation? They did not hard clear that corner as there was the other one to check as well. But what a play! My trigger. goodness! Trip wire destroyed. Wow. That was <laughs> kind of a bad there. We thought maybe one that oh, yeah, got himself two. I know exactly one. where you are. Then we caught his pants down. He did manage to get himself two, but those planted. are the only two kills that the team got in this particular round. And that is not a good thing. Agreed, because now it's a free to to retake. It was very difficult to the idea for one. Last player standing. And the second should be in the shower, but nah, Black Hop is there. His aim is good, and he will take the Sage down. That's a battle of the leaders, though. Sage and Brin. And that puts them up to uh, the A's trap. Seven, seven, eight is the scenario, yeah. I mean, they and still the can. Key, yeah. They hmm? can still make it work, but what do you think? How should they approach this game? I mean, you did give us an insight Safety's on up. how you think they should actually play a send. What do you think on bind they need to do here? I mean, just like the previous round in which they did, that, that, that was pretty good. Again, they need to first make sure that all those utilities are used up. Like, they need to break that cypher cam. Unless they're able to do that, they'll basically be providing the entire information for the showers to him. Whenever he'd want to. The rotation has been called towards the B site and... This one thing, you know... Um, we're seeing uh, this time that IGs are actually just reacting to the plays. So if in case they want to try and go in for a fake on one side and then end up Enemy on the other one, but Ashwatthama! Went inside the check review, gets one, finished off by the second black op. Made sure that he could not get out of it. And now slowly they're moving in towards the other side. Both the sides are stacked up. Two for two. And both the teams going for the four. And this is this. They're not hard to corner. And the fun is for that. Kilua. Get Shane and Long down. That cross flag is black op. And now the, 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 the second flag. This round is almost dusted. 
Bremalt invested as well. Okay. One enemy remaining. Oh, Busty boy. He, he kind of messed it up, but got himself up back up again. <laughs> it's fine. The, the face Ten seconds on the left. They're not gonna give him any Ace. I mean, Ace. that was quite questionable. Make sure to follow my pack but, in. Yeah, getting the win right is all that matters. In 79, they do have this, this, this. They still have the lead and managing to keep it up. Now, here's the thing in the previous round, they had the information that there were two people on the B side, and they already were they, they managed to take care of one. So, they should have had the idea. That oh, at this is a nice max spot. on the other side, there would be two people stacking. So all four of Get them would have gone way. in, could have hard cleared those corners and would have got the plant in because no way, in any way, you would let your opponent win a 2v4 scenario. So, until and of, unless, of course, they've got some god tier aim and god tier adjustment. Which these players do have it, but I think they're kind of equalizing those skills. So, that's a trip. Take care of that easily, but the Brimstow comes in from Naida to Sid. That's how it's going for more side for Baby. They did not have any of the second capacity, but still standing. Zero Snap comes in. They've got the control of the spike. That was a very quick round coming in. Get to that knife. You should reveal the ball of them for an air with some amazing shot. The brand is going to go down. The assassin takes two of them, but they will be traded down just as quickly as the retake was on point. That's going to put them up on 10. Double digits. The last time they actually, you know, hit the double digit score line, the opponents were on three. This time at least they're on seven. A much better score line when compared. Thank you. Seven to ten. They do have the seekers available in our defenders. The attackers, though, they do have two more ultimates the seekers and the operator strike. So I feel like this is going to be an A hit coming in Phenomenal. with the operator strike Phenomenal. going into U Haul. But I want to see the economy. I don't know if they have enough economy to go into the next round if they lose this one. They actually don't even have a good economy to buy this one. Shinei is gonna opt in. Okay. A Spectre's full shield. There's gonna be two Vandals, one Vandal. Yeah, no Vandals now. No Vandal. <laughs> They're just confused. And the confidence you can see. I don't know why Shinei's not buying shield. He's not buying shield. Oh no. Does he not? No, I don't think he realizes it. Yeah, he did not realize it, I believe. And finally, we're gonna see the first time Ashwatama walling the tower spike. Chine wins that one. Oh, against the Vandal, Seekers are gonna come out now. It's gonna push himself going back. Ashwatama is not gonna go in for the follow though. He's holding the angle, and that's what he needs. Now, Chine is just gonna jump in for mode. It's another one, Ashwatama. Finished off this track though, the duelist, both of them are out. I've got Molly. your trail. That's a good Molly to slow down that boat. Seekers are gonna come in. That's basically the entire Seekers wasted. Only with the one Molly. Nox, what a play. I don't think so he realized that. But that Molly just wasted an entire ultimate from Sky. It did give him the, them the information about one on side, but nothing more than that. The other people could have been anywhere around that map. And it's just like that. They're both holding the B side. And the rotation has been called for B. They will be ending up in that. Is that crossfire? Nope. 30 seconds left. Oh, crossfire though. Cypher is still standing there. Camera the taken out. Cam. He's got all the information that he needs. He should wait for his team. Oh. He's going to make a play. One enemy and does remaining. win that trade. Rip all the way. No, they are going to just shut this attack down. Just one Molly edge. One Molly is all it takes to actually completely destroy all the seekers and turn the round around for the side of defenders. Kilua once again top fragging with 20. Shine is trying his it's best. He's on 19 now. He's also trying to, you know, get as many oh, kills as he can to help his teammates in this particular matchup. You can't have to wait there. Though. You still have to be patient. It's still not over. Four round deficit. One round to take us into match point and series point for the side of IGS. But the attackers, they need... They only have one more round to spare, to be honest. Cage that is trigger. if they do Hell not... No. That is if they want to take us to overtime. 
That is true. You would fit. I will try to go to the marine. Oh, then we'll not be at the angle. Oh, he messed it up. He messed it up. Still gets one though. Gets Shine. It's that Nero that comes out of the picture, but the showstopper is up. Basti boy. Pull in control. Did did he actually miss? Yeah, he did. The camera is not broken. Basti boy still gets spin wins out in that trade. One enemy remaining. I don't know how do you manage to do that? It's Runnet. just a massacre. Rane. Three KOs. Guess the skin, Phantom, skin buff. I mean, yeah, once again, skins. I I feel like there are a couple of skins that are you know aimbot, but at the same time, I feel like there are a couple of skins that. Match mm, point. How do I say it? How do I put They're it in a desperate. nice way? That are hard scrap. You know, especially for me personally, it has to be the glitch pop Phantom. I feel like I cannot aim. Even if my aim is on the crosshair, I still feel like I might miss. But in the meanwhile, if I have something like, let's say, Oni Phantom, I feel like my aim just goes through their head. Like crosshairs are just popping on their heads. What about you? You have any skins that make you feel this way, or is it just me? <laughs> I've just got a shadow skin. It's a it's a week for me from starting the game. I only have a shadow skin. Start to open the UI. Okay, I do think that there are certain skins that actually help you in the aim. But for now, the aim is actually to be on point. Not expect hero. I know exactly. Did actually, but that's just hero of doing his own things. We'll be quickly shut down when you're the first. Gonna tell them the back about coming in from the CT. No more cards on the left on the CT though. They've got the showstopper. They've got the orbital strike. They've got everything they need to work with. They can also play Molly Nine up to the hey, brimstone right Manny. now. Oh, shot coming in. You're yeah, not Austin. allowed. You're not allowed to decimate them like that. But okay, they're losing time though. It is ticking. They need to quickly go in for the retake. Orbital strike. One enemy remaining. They're sticking it. They're sticking it. Half already done. All right. They shut down. Danger, boy. How the hell hit. was he allowed to stay half? What? No he, idea. He almost took it. He almost slapped him in the face with a diffuser, the ninja diffuser. Right here. That was a great round coming in from the attackers. That is a kind of aggression that I was looking for, and finally they deliver it. See now though, because they need every round from this point. Prepare All the players help. Bring it for help. Need to prepare. You cannot prepare for a hellfire. No matter what. Two halls area contest. Kilo are still standing. Take strikes down. Guys, we don't put up yet. Yes, another option. Enemy down. Fading. One enemy remaining. Oh my God. No way, Brim is winning. Not a nice win. What? What? They did not plan. They actually went in towards the other side. Here was a piece of 4 HP. Trailblaze? Oh, for a second I thought the the Trailblazer would kill him. But it missed him. Entirely. He didn't even notice him. He didn't even check that corner. That's a great flash. 4 HP and a dream. For Brim, he cannot go on towards B because there are a couple of traps and there's no way he can dodge both. If he, if he needs to want, if he wants to plan, he needs to get this kill on the side. Thirty that seconds has to be left. The miracle of a shot, which he will not be landing. Defenders it is going to be Basti Boss, the final nail in the coffin, and that it is going to be thirty to eight. A really good try coming in from the side of the attackers, but it is going to be IGS once again coming out on top. And taking the W along with the prize pool. Absolutely, the first prize of five thousand. And who other than Kilo are for that MVP performance of five hundred? Still got the ten percent of the prize pool back in his pocket. <laughs> Again, three hundred and thirteen ACS, twenty-three finishes, thirteen deaths. That's not a good KD like the previous one, but it is absolutely insane either ways. His KDA is positive. He stopped fragging in his team. Shine following him up though. 267 ACS with 20 finishes and 16 deaths. Six assists on board as well.
again amazing performance from both of these teams it was so very fun to watch and and it was pretty close since the starting it i mean it was a 6-6 half on the yeah. defense so i i really thought that we might os- possibly go in all the way for our third map but nonetheless do it is and both of them were absolutely sensational the matches were really fun really good to watch the first one was more like a one sided affair as soon as the the you know the lead was snatched this one it could have gone either way right till the end it felt like you know the defenders could have also lost their way the attackers could have come out on top but it is what it is it is igx igs's day to be the winners five first bloods for the jet he was absolutely popping he was just brilliant and uh, what a game it has been what a day it has been we were hoping for haven but it has been done in the map of bind which i won't be complaining about again as i've said i love bind and if it ends on bind yeah i, I really do not want to complain about that but once again congratulations team igs for being the winners of today's or this week's score college gaming clubs as per hyderabad's winner Yes, unfortunately for Sento Kings, they would have to settle in for the second place prize. But nonetheless, they still get three thousand in their pocket. And Team IGS are gonna be the winners of the game, dominating win in the first match, and again a very close one in the second. But still, at the end of the day, in the second half, they did crawl their way back through to get that win. They were the ones who. basically provided no answer for all of their setups all of their plays and again that that was a very entertaining match coming in from both these teams and this is it i believe for the evening i, I was expecting it to go all the way to the third one but either way we're going to have to settle for the two matches and yes it's if it's bind as the second map i have nothing to complain about i love to see bind as well so i believe your favorite map is bind is if it's am i am i correct Yeah, I mean, once it is my favorite map. I was really sad when you know it was in rotation and it kind of took it out for a while. Mm-hmm. I, uh, it was kind of like my depression phase, <laughs> but it is back now, and I'm smiling and I'm happy. But that is it for today, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Edge. Along with me was Kate. Yet we had a good day. Hope you guys had a fun. Ha- hope you guys had fun as well. Until next time. Good night. Take care and stay safe. Bye bye. डर से डरोगे तो कुछ बड़ा कैसे करोगे तो ड्यू उठा और हिम्मत का घूंट लगा माउंटेन ड्यू डर के आगे डर सबको लगता है कला सबका सुखता है पर डर से डरोगे तो कुछ बड़ा कैसे करोगे तो ड्यू उठा और हिम्मत का घूंट लगा एयरक्राफ्ट टू इन कमिंग वी एफ इट इन एयर पॉकेट Mountain Dew, dar ke aage, jeet hai.